Hey guys, what's going on? So in today's video, I'm extremely excited because I finally landed these boots that have been in progress for a while now, at least a year, at least a year and a half, I think. So this was a Boot Avengers MTO through Renav Goods. And I'm particularly excited to be getting these today because I'm actually the last Boot Avengers to receive his pair. It's a really funny story because as these were shipping from Renav Goods in Indonesia through China, the Chinese somehow lost <laughs> one of the boots. I can't remember which one. I think it might have been the left boot that got lost while transiting through China. Like, what the hell? What are you doing, guys? How do you lose one boot? How does a boot get misplaced? You know, like, where does it go? It's not like a sock that gets lost in the laundry. <laughs> Like it's a big thing, you know, this is a big item to misplace. What ended up happening was they shipped the single boot back to Indonesia and it's like, well now he has to just make another left boot. It's so ridiculous, like uh, I don't understand it. That's a long winded way of saying, I finally got my boots. These are the Austerity Brogue boots from Renav Goods in a leather that I have wanted for about three years, Horween Mushroom Chamois. The first time I saw this was on a pair of Vibergs. Vibergs ran this through, I think, a Withered Fig. They did like a plain toe derby in it, and it was just dream hauntingly good. I was just in love. And so JD collaborated through the Boot Avengers. Special thanks to JD, One Damn Eight Envision. He is the man. Thank you, JD, for putting this group made to order together because I am just in awe. First off, the smell of chamois leather. Horween chamois has a smell unlike any other leather. It's not like Chrome Excel. It's not like anything I've ever smelled before. It is insanely good. It is just a wonderful smelling leather. I have some Aldens in reverse tobacco chamois that I still have, I still love. Chamois or chamois is a heavily oiled rough out. It is one of the most chock full of character leathers you will ever find or experience it's like it's sort of moist to the touch so deep you get some areas of roughness some areas of matted down shininess it's just some of the most brilliant stuff i've ever worn i really really love chamois it's not like your typical rough out in fact i have some standard rough out this is from sb foot these are my dales leatherworks kilties available on my website dalesleatherworks.com this is phenomenal rough out i love it in fact i might end up throwing in some of these SB foot kilties into these. Maybe, I don't wanna necessarily cover up the tongue though on these. These are absolutely phenomenal. Another really good option for a mushroom chamois boot would be these Mariam Jungle Green Horsebutt kilties, by far the nicest kilties I've ever made. I have these available in Jungle Green and Fire Red on my website as well dalesleatherworks.com absolutely incredible stuff insane grain on these insane character these would also be a good match for these boots let me read a little bit about the specs on these bad boys austerity brogue with mushroom chamois rough out the boot avengers last and norwegian construction green and white this is the result thank you see you in another one so this is the wtb 806 model Austerity Brogue, Horween, Mushroom Chamois, Antique Brown Welt and Edge on the Boot Avengers Last, Soft Structured Toe, Norwegian Construction, Green and White Color Thread, 270 Degree, Green Cork Half Sole, Seven Antique Brass Eyelets, Woodsman Heel. For more information, contact Renav Goods Co. on Instagram. My buddy George at Smoke on Water says green and white thread color is an epic choice. My buddy Russell, Crafty Cumbrian, says that stitch work is insane. JD says it's so good I might hire him for plastic surgery. Yes. <laughs> so this Austerity Brogue, I assume they call it the Austerity Brogue because Austerity is basically a fancy word for plain. Austere. Not fancy or I guess, what's another word? standard under embellished because typically when you're talking about a brogue boot you're talking about a wingtip boot with the holes punched in similar to these antonio maritis these are brogue boots by the way i'm still trying to sell these i'll let these go for 300 bucks they are absolutely incredible boots but as you can see they're brogued 
all these holes, all these perforations are considered brogues. And this is a short wingtip boot, similar to these austerity brogues. But because these are called an austerity brogue, i.e. a plain brogue, there are no brogue perforations in this boot. In other words, it's a wingtip without the holes. A very cool design. I personally did not choose this. I would have maybe liked this to be in one of my favorite designs, which is a perforated cap toe. But because this was a group MTO, I couldn't customize it any further. And I'm actually happy when somebody pushes me into something that is not my standard comfort zone or my standard um, preferences, because that's kind of how we grow. As stylists, as boot lovers, sometimes I enjoy that, like sort of being directed, pointed in a direction that wouldn't be your norm, because you don't know if you like something until you start trying it out. So I've never had, I've never had a non-perforated wingtip before, and so I'm very excited to try these out. And the more I look at them, the more I am in love with the design. And so thank you, JD and the other Boot Avengers, for making this a reality. I'm really, really liking these so far. The Norwegian chain stitch, 270 degree, the green and white, it matches up so brilliantly against the uppers. It really complements the olive mushroom colored chamois uppers. The insole and midsole are stained like a dark cherry brown color. I really like that we went with this as opposed to leaving it natural. It's again, just another nice departure from what I would have otherwise opted for, which is an all natural, completely contrasting sole. I love the Cuban heel. I love the olive Dr. Soul super grip, the antique brass. If it were up to me, I probably would have gone with polished brass, which once again, super happy to be pointed in a direction on these that I wouldn't have otherwise normally gone for. And this Boot Avengers Last is very beautiful. It's, we've got a nice almond shaped toe. It's very well balanced with some heel support, but it doesn't appear that we've got like a super intrusive shank coming through on the bottom. I just love it. It's sleek, it's sexy, it's a beautiful silhouette. We've got a nice instep built into here as well, so it won't be hurting my instep. Definitely remind me of my other Renav Goods boots in brown shinky horse hide here. And this is what is called the A1 last. Now compare that to the Boot Avengers last. It's a little bit different, just a little bit. It's mostly the same thing by my eye. Uh, still an almond shaped toe. Still, we've got arch support built into these. I absolutely love these boots. The shinky is always a joy to wear. It looks like the A1 last is just a little bit more rounded in the toe and the Boot Avengers last is a little bit more almond shaped, a little bit more tipped, a little bit more pointed, but not so pointed as to be like an Italian last. These are in my standard eight and a half D. Love that size. That is my the size that I wear in most US boot brands and I'm very happy with the fit there. Super duper killer makeup. I'm really happy that I got in on this group MTO. If you're interested in this model, please reach out to Renav Goods. He will be more than happy to make you a pair. I can't wait to start rocking these. I mean, seriously, but I know that once I do, the vibrant smell of the leather will slowly dissipate. So I'm kind of enjoying these just fresh out of the box for now. Of all the Indonesian makers, I do like, I think Renav Goods and Tahura, those are my top two at this point. I, I said this in my last video, but I really do like the guys at Renav Goods. They're good people. They're excited to help you out. They've got a great eye for style and design, and they do not skimp on the workmanship at all. They go all out for their customers. I like the way that they accept half down and half when the boots are finished. I love that the way that they took care of me during the whole China losing one of my boots debacle. They're a joy to work with. I look forward to future collabs with them. So anyways, thanks a lot for watching guys. Leave me a like on the video. Please leave me your thoughts in the comments below. And anyways, let's keep the love of boots alive. Stay tuned, I have a lot more videos coming up.